Open arms. Three days, Chris. What's up? What's up? Well, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hi, guys. Nice to see you after the St. Patrick's Day weekend. I'm still hello. feeling it. It's yeah? It's yeah. nice to be seen after the St. Patrick's Day weekend. Yeah, man. I saw you guys were uh, enjoying a little of the festivities around town. Did you get into any uh, trouble? Oh, of course. <laughs> Absolutely. No trouble. But uh, couldn't believe how many people were drunk at 9 a.m. It's unbelievable. Yeah, it's crazy. Those are some serious troopers. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. You know what? I, I like to stay in on St. Patrick's Day, Day and just listen to the police scanner. You know, just let them roll. Let the crazies be crazy. I'll be a day drunk at home. Um, awesome. You have plenty, of t plenty to celebrate right now. You're what, a couple of weeks deep with the new album? Just dropped a couple, a couple days ago, March 9th, right? Yeah. yeah. Outsider? Yeah, it's been awesome. Response has been great, so we're, we can't be happier. 15 years as a band. Your second album with the band, right, Matt? Yep. Yeah. Can you kind of tell us how you come into the picture or came into the picture all these years ago? Well, I grew up watching the guys jam in my basement so i've always been like been around and been a fan of the band so uh when i got the call i was like hell yeah i'll do it you're a man that performs under pressure because i think this was just thrown on you back in 2013 and uh human was underway right that album was that already in the recording process um yeah like i paint this song we're gonna play it was already uh half done but uh yeah I'd love to hear it. Cool. cool. Start there, man. Off human. Song's called Painkiller. <laughs> Don't you need a fix when you fall down? You know you need to find a way to get, get you through, through another, another day. day. Let me be the one to numb you out Let me be the one to hold you Never, Never gonna, gonna let you get away The shoulder you cry on The toes that you die on I, I can be your pain killer Killer, killer You love me till it's all over, over Cause I'm the shoulder you cry on that you die on I, I can be your pain killer 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 I know what you want so desperately you know I'll give you one for free forever, forever you're, you're coming, coming back to me now I'm gonna give you what you need Cause I know what you fiend on and what you lean on and what you lean on The shoulder you cry on, the toes that you die on I, I can be your pain killer, killer, killer You love me till it's all over, over Cause I'm the shoulder you cry on, the toes that you die on I, I can be your pain killer Find another cure. Did you find another cure? I, I can be your pain killer, killer, killer. You love me till it's all over, over. Cause I'm the shoulder you cry on. The toes that you die on I, I can be your pain killer Killer, killer Pain killer And good afternoon to you too what I'm talking about, Painkiller Off Human. Um, something that was recorded, what, nearly five years ago. Matt, when, when do you lose the new guy status? 
Oh, never. I don't think ever. Never. Think never. <laughs> what? When? When are we gonna let that go, man? It's like you don't see like Brian Johnson. Like, oh, it's the, it's the new guy from ACDC, right? Maybe Steve Perry and Journey. But I, I bet it, you Angus still says that to him. <laughs> probably. Yeah, probably. Is it a timeline thing, or uh, is there a measurable amount of success for that? Or? I've always been the little brother, so I'll always probably be the the new guy. Aww. We still call Barry the new guy, and he's been in the band for 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> In radio, it's like you never want to be the replacement. You want to be the replacement's replacement. Right. It's it's hard, man. How have the fans reacted to you and the new band? I mean, it's been four or five years on the road together in this new lineup. Oh, it was a little scary at first, but uh, like as soon as like the first the first song we came out, it was just like people were loving it. So it's from there we've just been going straight forward. Is there more confidence now, like heading into this studio for Outsider? Is there a change from your, your, your first album with the band and, and your latest? Uh, most definitely, yeah. Both in the booth and also like at concerts, I just feel more comfortable for sure. And I, I build my voice over time. Yeah. So many shows and yeah, higher ranges. I'd love to hear something from the new album then. Cool. Yeah, this song is called Infrared. Don't stress, don't stress No one knows what goes on in our heads, our heads We are invisible to the rest, the rest they don't know nothing about what we have, we have Cause everyone's living in black and white But we see each other in a different light Infrared, I know that you're burned Anyway, no, you and I are on a different way. So, does it even matter what they say? No, cause everyone's living in black and white, but we see each other in a different light. Infrared, I know that you're burning up for me. I see you, I see you in infrared The heat and the light and the way you move Like nobody else is in the room I see you, I see you Everyone's living in black and white We see each other in a different light That's why I look at you like I do like nobody else is even in the room Infrared, I know that you're burning up for me Fire in your bloodstream Moving through you at light speed I see you, I see you in infrared The heat and the light and the way you move Like nobody else is in the room If you fall into me, I fall into you I see you, I see you 
Infrared off the new album, Outsider, marking 15 years as a band. That's a lot of touring. I mean, a lot of touring. Yeah, you know, you figure, we're lucky because we still get along, you know. Uh, <laughs> we've already had, like, the, <laughs> the, the big fights are over. <laughs> we're, uh, I don't know, you, you spend a lot, so much time with these guys, and uh, we, we respect each other. That's the key. You see the best and the worst of everyone. You, know? <laughs> you what? Well, uh, we pretend to, apparently. <laughs> at least it's on camera. That's good. It's on camera, yeah. What's waiting for you back home? Do you still call Canada home? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, we're a uh, we're small town, outdoorsy kind of Canadian guys. So we, uh, I don't know, ride four-wheelers, snowmobiles, drink beer. I noticed on your Instagram timeline that you're also a pond hockey pro. Who's the best hockey player uh, on the band? Brad, Brad, Brad would be, yeah. yeah. Uh, Neil's got pretty good hands. Well, I throw a good elbow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the Maple Leafs, though, man, they're uh, uh, trucking towards the playoffs. Mike, is Mike Babcock still your coach over there? Yeah, Mike he's, Babcock's the man. Yeah, he's, yeah sure. Red Wings. Yeah. Red Wings, man. Yeah. I've been, I've been checked out this year. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You can steal them north of the border. Um, what's waiting for you at home? Uh, well, we're pretty, like, it's go time for us now. So, um, you know, we've been rehearsing a lot, and we just we had our head bur heads buried in the studio for so long that uh, we have a boatload of touring coming up, um, and so we got to get in fighting shape, <laughs> pretty much. We got to get home and, uh, you know, just rehearse and, and plan, plan the big concert. Is there any, like, physical prep for tour? Because this is, like, tomorrow's the uh, official day, first official day of spring, and then it's, like, concert season, festival season. You do MMA, right? Yeah, yeah, I practice at home, yeah. I figured I'd get, like, a push-up or something, a burpee, or is that, like, th that's CrossFit. That's <laughs> something Oh, uh, we do else. that, too. Yeah, yeah. 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 There's yeah. physical shape. There's, there's, honestly, you guys, you can tell that you've been, you're in sync right now, and uh, you're ready to hit the ground running. Um, do you want to play something, uh, Let's go back a bit? Yeah. Okay. The song's called Never Too Late. <laughs> this world will never be what I expected. And if I don't belong, who would have guessed it? I will not leave alone Everything that I own To make you feel like it's not too late It's never too late Even if I say It'll be alright Still I hear you say You want to end your life now and again we try to just stay alive Maybe we'll turn it around cause it's not too late It's never too late No one will ever see the side reflected And if there's something wrong, who would have guessed it? And I have left alone Everything that I own To make you feel like it's not too late It's never too late Even if I say It'll be alright Still I hear you say You want to end your life Now and again we try To just stay alive Maybe we'll turn it up Too late, the world we knew won't come back. The time we've lost, we can't get back. The life we had won't be us again. No, this world will never be what I expected and if I don't belong even if I say it'll be alright still I hear you say you want to end your life now and again we try 
to just stay alive Maybe we'll turn it around Cause it's not too late It's never too late Maybe we'll turn it around Cause it's not too late It's never too late It's not too late It's never too late Thank you. Vintage Three Days Grace. I dig it. Thank you for playing it for us, guys. Um, through the Three Days Grace library, there's always been this kind of underlying theme, of course, of the underdog, um, you know, loss and uh, um, redemption. And uh, I wanted to know if music's still therapy for you. 100%. Uh, when we're writing, we always, you know, we always stay true to ourselves and kind of dig deep in our own psyche and uh, kind of observe the world around us, you know? So it certainly is therapy like that. And uh, we, it, we keep it real to ourselves because I think that's a major connection that we have with Three Days Grace fans is that our fans know that it comes from a real place. And we're regular guys that go through the same kind of stuff that everybody does. So I think there's a rela relatability to the music. Um, and uh, hey dude, sweet. Phone solo, phone solo. <laughs> what was that? I thought that was Just your snap. voice. <laughs> I was like, is that R2D2? <laughs> Where is he? Um, yeah, no, I think, you know, to be able to go and create something, you know, and have so many people relate to it uh, and be able to kind of see their own lives in it is an extremely pow powerful thing as an artist. So that's what we wake up and love to do every day. I was thinking you guys probably wrote this new album last year and the rock community suffered some big big losses, Chris Cornell and, and Chester, just to name a few. And and you've kind of become the advocate of mental health. How, uh, how has the rock community changed um, well, I mean, around it, if at all, I think w one of the scary things is that uh, there's really no explanation and it's really hard to make sense of something that there's no r real explanation for. It's really that's scary to us. And uh, it, it, modern society, you know, uh, you wake up and like, you know, before you roll out of bed, you, you know, you read the worst news in the world and uh, you read someone's shitty opinion about something. And before your feet hit the ground, you're already pissed off at the world. Um, and that. That was a topic of conversation for us, uh, just sort of um, the, the chaos and the madness of modern society and how that can actually kind of, it can affect your brain, you know? And uh, so, I, yeah, we did touch on that a lot. And um, as far as the rock community, it's just, uh, it's unexplicable to, to see uh, so many legends uh, suffering. It's so crazy to me. I'm like, no, you can't, you can't die. You know, it's, it's, there's a selfishness to it. Like, you're, you're mine, you're, you know, you're my therapist. And uh, I think uh, your music, especially your new music, really speaks to that. Do you want to hear another new one? Can we do that? Yeah, this song's called Love Me or Leave Me. go all in in love and life but I can't take another sudden goodbye deep deep down inside Tell me, will you love me or leave me forever? 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 Cause I need something to last Too many times I've been left behind Deep down inside Tell me Will you love me or leave me forever? 
you love me or leave me forever? Will 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 you love me or leave me forever? Love Me or Leave Me off Outsider, out in stores now. Learn it and love it, because I think that one's going on the road, right? Oh, yeah. Festival season is a go. Uh, just announced uh, Three Days Grace with Avenged Sevenfold and Prophets of Rage. Yeah, it's going to be great. Yes, sir. Have you met Tom Morello yet? Not yet, no, but uh, huge fans. You know, we're, we're huge Rage fans and Audio Slave, and the new Prophets of Rage record's great, so it's going to be a really good tour. I'd, I'd be so starstruck. Yeah. Yeah, and you know, Avenge guys, we've known them from past tours, and they're all great, and uh, it's gonna be really fun. So I figured that that'd be like a, a reunion of sorts yeah, for you. Absolutely, yeah. Is there any band you'd like to tour with that you haven't yet? Like, you, are you do you have a bro crush on anyone? Well, Rock on the Range. As uh, mm -hmm. soon as I saw Tool and The Perfect Circle, uh -huh. uh, like I'm, Tool is my all-time favorite band, um, and uh, yeah, to be sharing the stage with those cats is pretty awesome. People have this like thought that the backstage at a festival is like the real happening place. But whenever I or if I've been invited backstage before, it's a lot of catering. And if you do see someone you like, say it's like Maynard or Flippin' Tom Morello, I'm like, eh, and then I just keep walking. I mean, <laughs> is it more of camaraderie backstage for you guys? It is. You know, it's a it's a community of uh, people that we've p crossed paths with you know in the past. And uh, the thing about rock and and well music in general, I guess, is like people like. You know, everyone's kind of cool, and the and the, the bands that think they're like too cool or don't have time for fans or other bands and stuff, they tend not to stick around very long no. because the community is like, oh, you're, oh yeah, you're so you're so cool. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it's like we're all there for the same reasons, uh, for the love of music, and so yeah, it, it becomes a really cool environment. I'm really excited for you guys. W what's the next step? You're just going to kind of prep for the tour. It kicks off this summer, right? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah we have right. fans telling us. We have fans reminding us it, of shows it. that we have. And then you've nice. got a cruise, and then you, you know. Yeah, yeah. This guy rem he remembers all the shows, so that we don't have to. We yeah. just we just show up. <laughs> if I ever lose my memory, it's over. Basically, <laughs> I'm gonna have to pack it in. Uh, okay. Very excited to hear the new stuff on the road and the classics, too. Thank you for spending your afternoon with us. Thanks. How about one Thank more you. to take us out, man? This song's called "The Mountain." Every day I'm just surviving, keep climbing the mountain Even when I feel like dying, keep climbing the mountain Another night I'm barely holding on One step away from being dead and to die another day Is this life that I've been living All that's meant for me Every day I'm just surviving Keep climbing the mountain Even when I feel like dying Keep climbing the mountain Every time I think I'm over it I wake up at the bottom of it all again I'm still surviving Keep climbing, keep climbing Yeah. 
The higher I go, the harder I fall So I don't look down, I don't look back at all And when I wish it all would turn to black I try to see the light and push the darkness back Every day I'm just surviving, keep climbing the mountain Surviving, keep climbing the mountain Even when I feel like dying, keep climbing the mountain Every time I think I'm over it, I wake up at the bottom of it all again I'm still alive and I keep climbing, keep climbing the mountain The mountain Thanks, guys.